This key concept video follows on from the previous video on deriving terms. However, this video introduces something a little bit more difficult where we have a fraction in our equation with the variable on the bottom. So for example, in this equation on the right, we have an x cubed on the bottom. Here we also have an x on the bottom. So before we go and differentiate this equation here, we need to rewrite it with our variables on the numerator. And I'm gonna explain how to do it here with this example on the left. We have three on five x cubed. We need to rewrite this. Note, we're not differentiating it, we're just rewriting it with the x on top. And the way that we can do that would be 3x to the power of negative 3 on 5. This and this is exactly the same. When we take the variable up the top, we just change the sign on the power. If we were to take a variable from the top to the bottom, we would also change the sign on the power. And I would actually go one step further here and rewrite this as 3 fifths x to the power of minus 3. This and this is also the same thing. It, this just allows us to differentiate uh, quite a bit easier. So let's go ahead and do this equation on the right. First things first, before I differentiate, I'm going to rewrite all of my fractions with the variable on the top. So this would be, this stays the same, this first term, 5x to the power of 4. This next term would be plus 2x to the power of minus 3. The next term would be minus 4x squared. The next term would be, so note what I've done here, would be plus 5 on 2 x to the power of negative 1. So let's just talk about this for a second. The x had an invisible power of 1. I've taken it to the top. I've essentially gone 5x to the power of negative 1 now on 2. And I've now rewritten this as 5 on 2 out the front of x to the power of negative 1. That's how I got this. And you'll see in the next step why it's beneficial to write, a lot, write it that way. And the constant stays the same. Now, let's go ahead and, so that's still y, let's now go ahead and differentiate this. I won't go through the uh, all the detailed steps. I did that in the previous video, is how to derive terms, so I'll go through this a little quicker. This one here will be four times five, will be 20 x to the power of three, take one off the power. The next one will be minus three times two, creates minus six, x to the power of minus three minus one is minus four. The next one, two multiplies by the minus four to make minus eight, x to the power of one. But when we have uh, to the power of one, we don't write the power of one. Okay, the next term, minus one that multiplies by the five on two to make minus five on two, x to the power of minus one, minus one is actually minus two. And then when we derive a constant, as I mentioned in the previous video, it just becomes zero, so I don't write anything. Now let's clean this up, and we should always leave our powers in positive form. This becomes 20x to the 3. We're gonna t we, we will take the x to the power of minus 4 to the denominator of the fraction again, so this becomes minus 6 on x to the power of 4, minus 8x, and this one here becomes minus 5 on 2x to the power of positive 2, or 2x squared. And that's our derivative there. So that's about all for this key concept video. I recommend now practicing some of these questions in the question bank section.